Hey everybody, what's going on? I just wanted to do a video on this super cool new, uh, this one's a Dino Fury Power Ranger Zord set, um, but man, I, of course, I ended up with the pink and green one, but, um, these are super cool. I was, like, actually blown away by just the concept, because they kind of fuse Legos um, Transformers and Power Rangers, as weird as that sounds. Um, I'm filming this with my hand, so I'll have to get it on the tripod real quick, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, um, and I wanted to show off what I think, to me personally, is a really cool idea, and what I meant by they did the whole Lego Transformers and Power Rangers thing, so... I pretty much built them to the specs on the box. Um, I guess I'll take a short snippet and put that at the end. But uh, what's really cool is they're pretty much all like Legos. So uh, you can just snap your pieces on and off anywhere that those have things like that. I just built it to the diagram to, you know, show it off. But actually this isn't supposed to be here. This is actually his tail. But funny enough, it unfolds to be wings, so I'm pretty sure that's supposed to go on the back of, like, the big zord. But I don't know. Um, you know, I got the ankylosaurus here, the two drills, the hammer tail, you know, and it's really weird that they turned the Green Ranger back into, you know, the saber tooth. Because, like, it's like they literally combined all of... The Green Ranger stuff into one which I thought was interesting because it's like color scheme wise he's like the Bronazord but he's the saber tooth like the white one so it's like they kind of combined all the you know forms of Tommy into one robot which was kind of interesting but so there's that but I was also really psyched because I haven't seen anything like this I Still don't have a communicator. I really want one, of course. But uh, these were pretty sick that they were in the package, too. So you get the power keys for each Ranger, respectively. But this is cool, too, because you can change your key. It doesn't say it in the book, but I was like, can you do it? And I found out, sure enough, you can. So these are swappable heads, and you can put them on you know, otherwise, but I'm thinking I'm going to put the saber tooth one on here. Once I rebuild it how I want it to look, to have a custom sword, but uh, there we go. Put that back on. But, uh, ow. Anyway, this is what the box looks like here. Let me grab this. So, these ones look pretty interesting like if you were to get all of them like i can't believe how big this one is like it's just gigantic totally reminds me of the zords when i was a kid and another thing i found interesting is like so they kind of like ratchet like i don't know if you can hear it but they have like way better reinforcement as far as like how they turn and stuff like the hips turn really well everything is like very articulated and you can take it apart and customize it so all in all i think it's pretty sick especially that you get the power keys with it so i'll talk to you guys later take it easy